In this video, I am going to uh, talk about the castanets that I use in the orchestra, and um, I'm going to demonstrate them, talk about some techniques for playing, and talk about some of the repertoire where castanets, uh, there's uh, nice juicy castanet parts. Um, the first type of castanets I'm going to talk about are the Epstein castanets. They are uh, made of grenadilla wood. They're uh, mounted on a paddle and these are the middle sized ones. He makes a very large one, very small, and these are in the middle. I think they're two and a half inches in diameter. But they have a very nice sound. They certainly cut through the thickest orchestration and, um, and I think they sound closest to what the, the dancers use. Um, and uh, you want to rest your, when you play these, um, you're going to be, uh, you're going to have to rest your foot on something. I like to use the bottom of a snare drum stand uh, to rest my foot on. And you're going to play these on your leg, just behind the kneecap. And um, you can play, what's great about these, you can play, uh, artic you know, you can articulate uh, fast rhythms, uh, you can play soft, you can play loud. And uh, this is, uh, uh, for instance, the Bacchanal from Samson and Delilah. Starts off pianissimo. And so forth. Um, you can also, which, is, which, which to me is the best part of these, is that you can, roll, you can produce a roll or grace notes. Uh, for instance, in, um, oh, and while, I'm, while I'm talking about grace notes, um, whenever, you have, whenever you have single notes when you're playing castanets, make a flam. Because when you listen to the dancers when they're playing the castanets with their hands, you never hear tick, tick, tick. You hear a flam each time. So um, there's a part in uh, Piano Concerto Number no. 3 by Prokofiev where the castanets play in unison with the piano. And when you're playing this part, uh, when you're playing the castanet part, you want to make sure that you position yourself in the orchestra so you're not way back behind the trumpets because there's going to be a delay. There's, it's, it's not going to sound uh, on time with the piano. It's, not, it's going to be off. So you want to move up perhaps just behind the woodwind so you're a little closer to the piano. And um, that should work out just fine. It, uh, it starts, it's basically all pianissimo. Now, there's a little grace note, it's a three stroke, stroke rough, and all I'm doing is putting a little bit of, of light pressure with my index finger on the top castanet. Very little, it's just, they're just, just laying there kind of. And when you alternate your hands, you get a nice grace note. You can also get a nice roll that way. That's the uh, behind the clarinet solo in Capriccio Espanol. It's a, a castanet solo behind the clarinet solo. So these are, as I said, pretty much the, the workhorse uh, go-to castanets for me these days. Now, if you're playing, uh, if you're playing other instruments, and you're moving around a lot, and you don't, you're not going to have, uh, uh, it's not convenient to pick, to pick them up and put your prop your leg up and all that. Uh, you can use one of these uh, castanet frames, and you just slip the castanets into the frame like that, and tighten it down, and then you can play other things and come over and. And play that way. Now I use the the fleshy part, the basically the tips of these three fingers: the index finger, middle finger, and the finger next, the ring finger. And I like to have kind of a U shape uh, in my hands between the thumb and the index finger. So it, it's kind of it's kind of this this type of thing. And um, this works well. 
Uh, on the other type of castanets that, that I occasionally use, which is the not so much these days as I used to, is the castanet machine. And uh, this one happens to be a Danmar, D-A-N-M-A-R machine. And I think they're probably one of the only ones making a machine, these days, castanet machine these days, because most, most uh, orchestras have gone to using the, the, uh, the paddle type, the, the, uh, you know, the real grenadilla wood type castanets. Now, one thing you can do with these to simulate the grace note is you can roll these four fingers towards the thumb in a very rapid, rapid motion, and you can kind of get that, that sound simulated. So um, that's, those are kind of the things that, uh, the techniques and, uh, and some of the repertoire that uh, you, would, you would find uh, for castanets. And um, it just takes, uh, with, the, with the, uh, the Epstein castanets or Grover or whatever, whichever brand you want to buy, uh, they're well worth the investment. They're, they're a lot more expensive than a machine. They're uh, machines you could probably get for, I think this, this one retails for around 50 bucks. But um, you can certainly, uh, you know, be happy with, with that investment if you want to invest in the, in, the, in the Epstein castanets. So that's it. I hope, uh, I hope uh, it was informative. And uh, thanks for watching.